Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Logia, and I am here with another episode of Logia Plays Minecraft. Today I'm going to be doing a command block tutorial on teleportation paths. Now, let's get into it. Alright, so it's very in the early in the morning, so sorry about my tiredness, but either way. This teleport pad's going to teleport me to there. So there's the command block creation. It's not too complex, it's mostly a repeat of commands, but you'll see. So here we go. Place some particles, and there's this little thing. Boom! Right <coughs> Alright, one second. Alright, sorry about that. Um, so pretty much what happens is if you watch closely, alright, for this repeater right here, there, well, yeah, you'll see that redstone block is placed. And then it's removed when I'm done, but you'll see how later. Because first of all, that's just how that works, and I'll show you the command. I just have the you have a golden pressure plate up here. I just you can do whatever you want. I just had to wanted to, well I didn't have to, but I wanted to make it look cool, so I did that. Anyway, here's the command. So it activates to the block, block. Make sure the block has the pressure plate on it, or you can have like a little command station with the same thing on here in case you want multiple teleport options. So you could stand there, and then you could click like a pad and click a button that would have this behind it but either way make sure the block is like one block under or to the side of an activation point and here's the command so um pretty much this is setting the block at where I where these coordinates which are right here oops which are like right on this block so pretty much if I go over here you can see there's special coordinates, but obviously you wouldn't want to put those in. You'd want to put in wherever you want the redstone block to go, which obviously you can just go over here and you can see where this is. And then pretty much just type those in. What I like to do is I like to go like 1, 8, 9, 56, 4, 6, 7, and then type it in chat and then quickly rush over. Now it's still in there, so I can just type that in real quick, and then boom, you have the coordinates in. Alright, so. Uh, let's go ahead and put this back. There we go. Now I'm going to show you what this does. So obviously it sets this block, so it activates this first repeater, which will we have to have this because we want to delay, otherwise this would just look completely messed up. Uh, so yeah, we have the starting one. and don't need to delay. So it for activates the first one. I have a two tick delay. Or three tick? I don't know. I'm not very good with remembering ticks on redstone, but anyway, I just clicked this twice once I replaced them. With all of these, pretty much, except for these ones, I just did one and two. But either way, in this row, you want to have one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a six long row. So the same command is pretty much in each of them. So it's this. So we're teleporting an armor stand, any armor stand in the area. Um. So, and it's teleporting it up one block, which is why you saw those blocks of coal, they're invisible armor stands, and I'll show you how to get that at the end of the video. So if you don't know how to do that, just stick around to the end of the video and you'll see how to do custom armor stand, like how I like to do it, and it's just, it's pretty simple. Um, so yeah, so we have the armor stands right here, and they're all, it activates all nine, or all six, twelve of them. Um, so yeah, and it just it literally has the same command going down the cell. If you want to look at this layout, pretty much your thing spawns, you got the redstone repeaters in the middle until the end, and you have one at the end, and then you loop it around, and you have to make sure there's a one block gap, whether or not you put these command blocks in the middle here, and you'll see why in just a second, and then you have to have it go down this row, because otherwise if they're on this row, it activates all at once. So pretty much I'm going to show you the next part, which is obviously... We go down the chain, go in an order. You might think, oh, it's this one next. But actually, these command blocks in the middle are being activated as these ones are. So, th not as this ones are, they don't reactivate, but these ones do. Um, oh my gosh, my hair's probably messed up. Um, oh, give me a second. Alright, I'm back. I had something in my eye. Alright, so. Oh, yeah. So, the middle command blocks. So, if this one activates, this one does. This one activates, this one does. But that's only because this redstone repeater sends signal to this one, too. Or it would do it on the side, so you can also put them on the other side. But as long as they're on one of the sides, it should be fine. 
Um, so pretty much here's what the particle is. It's the same particle every time. So it's execute at P and then just do the little squiggly lines. <laughs> I don't never remember what those are called. The particle, dragon breath, more squiggly lines, three more. Um, and if you want to play the particles at different spots, then you can. You can just move those around. That will go you know, one to the side or wherever. But I'm not going to go into any more detail about that. I just write 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 250 for the particles I have. You can go and look at a particle video somewhere else because I'm not very good with the <laughs> particles quite yet. I've never really done too much with those. Either way, it's literally the same command going all the way down. And I'll, I'll make sure that the pretty much there's these three commands for this whole row. So I'll just make sure this command's in there, this command's in there, and this command's there. And then how to get the armor stand link will be in there. And you'll see what I mean later. Either way, now we have the last row. Whew. We have the TP, the armor stand. It's literally the same thing except for minus, which means it will teleport the blocks down, back down to, like, they're literally, if I break this block right here, oh, they're in the same, same block, whatever, okay, oh, oh, okay, oh, 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 um, I have an idea, oh, crap, no, Dang it! Alright, well, either way, just don't make the same mistake I did. I, uh, I, uh, um, wait, I have a better idea. Sorry, one second. I'll, uh, I'm messing up. Aha! Got it. Alright, um, oh, dang it. Ah. Alright, it is fixed, I think, on my hope. Either way, where were we? Oh, yeah, this command, I'll also have that in the description. Alright, so now we get down to this last part. So it comes down and it activates this last piece. I don't you don't need a uh timer delay right there. But pretty much it sets block to where my block was. So actually the way you have to do this is you have to place the block there or alright, so my recording um just stopped. I don't know why, but either way. So yeah, this is going to set that there, but you need to place some block right there. Why is this monster egg? I don't know. Maybe I messed up either way. So you have to do this and then look down at it. So this is the coordinates that you see up in the top left, the X, Y, Z. Those are the coordinates you want to put into the command block right here. Right here, and then it will set Minecraft colon air so that it just makes it nothing. Um, either way, and then you go into this command block and you'll see this is the teleport command. So it will teleport at player um, 199. Five, nine, yeah. Either way, that's the coordinates when I look. Oops. I'm looking right here. These are the coordinates. Um. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I have hiccups. Oh my gosh, everything is going wrong in this video. Either way. Um. I think that's pretty much it. Except for I'm going to redo this command and show you a way to actually make it so that if you have like multiplayer, it'll actually only execute when they're on that pressure plate. So yeah. Alright guys, so I'll show you how I did this. So pretty much I looked at the coordinates for here. I put them in the chat like I normally do. Um I rushed over here, I looked in here, and I got the execute, the closest player to these coordinates. So pretty much they'll have to be standing on it or really close to it if they want to be teleported. So pretty much it won't teleport anyone who's close to this command block. It will teleport anyone who's closest to the this location right here. So that's how you can do that. So I'll actually only put this command block, I mean this command in the description so you can enjoy that. That's a nice little tip for you guys. You can also use execute pretty much. You, I hope you get the gist. Otherwise, if you don't, just tell me and I will make a video on it. And either way, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Just a little notification. I am going to start uploading more. Um, mostly going to be more tutorials because I wasn't really. I mean, it's not that I wasn't wasn't uh, liking it or anything. So, um, it's just that tutorials can get more views, and as a starting YouTuber, it just seems like a good idea because if people need it.
they're gonna watch you if there's no one else. And I made sure I couldn't really find anything on 1.11 teleport pads, so with the new update coming out, that's really nice because a lot of new things might have changed and there's not new stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you found it like helpful. If you did, please leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next episode.